Port Condor portal confirmed. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Damn. Wait, no! What happened to the proto-relic? Ain't that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. Come on. Let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. Let's go play Fort Conroy. Oh. Now then, if I were a proto relic, where would I be? Uh. Over here. Your princess and your treasure await you. Make haste, my hero. Mwah. Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us! The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. All of us! What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here. Waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. <laughs> so how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the proto-relic back without the captain. Yeah, we gotta help him. Honestly? Yeah, you're right. What I will be mad about is if they, um... Is if they decide to make a remake. Like, an actual report remake of this game using this as its, uh base afterward now. That'll make me mad. <laughs> but if if this was the start of it, I'd probably still buy it. Yeah, I'll be honest too, but <laughs> it would still make me upset <laughs> that I was stupid enough to buy it, I guess. Um... Yeah, we want an elite hangar here. I want something of the sort over here. That was closer. Hmm.
There we go. Much better. Oh, my darling hero. Hey, hands off, Buttercup. You want to thank us so bad? Give us the proto relic. Treasure is mine, and mine alone. Never would I allow you knaves to claim it. Uh, Captain? Come, my loyal henchmen. With this, none can hope to stand against us. We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire. <laughs> hey, Captain, well, wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? Those four toys. First try. Let's go. That polygonal piece of shit. Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Shut up, so, Chadley. We can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto relic. Nobody even likes right. you. Speaking of which, I've reacquired the signal. Send us the coordinates, Chad. Mirth of Junon. And you are. Oh man. I'm sure I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Oh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But, like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> Allergies. What? <laughs> Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to mama! <sighs> Eat fighter. Go ahead, Brad. Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your ideas. aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a Merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. God damn it, Red. Why do you gotta make sense? Don't make sense, Red. Oh. 
I not assess one of these? Definitely thought I could. That's right. I saw you take that hit, you know. And they call you the Going in. Losers ought to be easy pickings for a merc like you. So much like. Jesus. No that Leave him in too, my loyal subordinate. You think it's all this? It would make for a great commercial. <laughs> Yet. Oh, 
Give it a blizzard. You learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Merc. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. <laughs> okay, later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters Toby. headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh yeah! Rondo was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. I, uh... Wouldn't say that we're best buds, then. 